Hi, this is Leslie with Simply Vegan. We are going to make some amazing cilantro pesto today, but I'm going to warn you, this recipe is only for people who are absolutely crazy about cilantro. So, let's begin. I call this my two tablespoon recipe. We're going to start with our blender, and we're going to put in two tablespoons of lemon juice, two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of walnuts, two tablespoons of almonds, these are raw almonds and raw walnuts, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast flakes. Now these yellow flakes are amazing food. They're a great source of B vitamins and protein. I'm going to put those in there. They, they kind of have a cheesy flavor if you put them on popcorn, although they don't taste too cheesy in this dish. And then I have a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to put that in. Now, I am making a double recipe here, but I gave you the proportions for a single recipe. Put the cover on here, and we are just going to let this blend until those nuts have become nice and creamy. You may have to push it down a little bit on the sides just to get those nuts down in there so that you will have a nice creamy final product. So we're just going to push this all down and then we're going to continue blending. All right, we're also going to add two cloves of garlic. Now the garlic that I have is huge, so I'm going to add two, even though I'm doubling the recipe, uh, because they are so big. If you cut the tips off of your garlic, like so, this is a little trick for peeling your garlic. Cut the tips off of both ends of your garlic like this, and then just give it a smash with the side of your knife, which is another good reason to have a good wide blade. Now you can see this kind of just lifted that paper right off of the garlic. We're gonna go ahead and put that in there as well. They just peel super easily once you smash them like that. And we're gonna continue blending. We want the garlic smooth as well. Now I did pause the video while this was blending a little bit. So you might gonna have to push it down maybe a couple times and just peek in the blender and make sure that it's blending up nice and finely. When you're only doing a single recipe with two tablespoons of all those ingredients, it's gonna be a little bit tricky for your blender, especially if you have a large blender bowl to do such a, to do such a small amount. You could also use a bullet if you have a bullet. Our next ingredient is our cilantro. This is what it's all about. So I have this beautiful cilantro here. Now normally we use two cups, but I'm doing a double recipe. So I am going to um, get four cups of this and we're gonna loosely pack it. If you don't know how to keep your cilantro fresh, we have a video on that, so make sure you check that out because you don't wanna waste any cilantro. It's amazing stuff and it's green anything green is so good for you all right so we're going to cut it and you do want to cut it don't try to throw it in whole because those stems are going to give your blender a really hard time so let's see i need four cups of oh this smells so wonderful loosely packed so we're just going to loosely pack that in there just pack it but loosely okay two See if I've got two more cups here. Ooh. Whew. All right. Throw that in. Now we're going to blend this, and if it seems like it's uh, not processing as well as you like, you could add a tablespoon or two of water, but remember that is going to thin down your cilantro pesto. So let's put the cover on, and again, I'm going to pause the video in between while I work it just to get, the, get that cilantro nice and creamy.
Okay, I think we've got it. Let's just get it into a bowl and take a peek. This is wonderful with pita chips on rice. Uh, you could use it as a topping on top of a bean burrito if you wanted to serve it in a little, get, little bit more elegant fashion and eat it with a fork. Okay, I'll finish getting the rest out of there later. And there you have it. Now we're also going to post a recipe on how to make a pesto pizza that is so delicious and fast and easy once you get your cilantro made. I hope that you'll enjoy this. Uh, it's good for you, uh, full of healthy fats, the kind that um, our body uses to uh, process our fat-soluble vitamins, delicious stuff. Bon appetit, eat for strength.